Welcome to Jordan Valve Maintenance Videos. This is a Mark 70 disassembly and rebuild. These are the tools you will need. A torque wrench with a 9 16 inch socket, a 1 8 inch Allen head wrench, a 9 16 inch wrench, 1 half inch wrench, a 7 16 inch wrench, 7 16 nut driver, quarter inch nut driver, a pick, anti-seize, 3-in-1 oil or equivalent, and number 4 grease or equivalent. These are the items included in your repair kit. Disc pin, plate, disc, disc guide, stem and nut, packing, index pin, washer, and spring. First remove the travel scale. Now remove the stem connector. Remove the set screws. This will allow you to lift the actuator off of the yoke. When the four set screws are loose, lift off the yoke and the actuator. Remove the cap screws and two nuts. When all the cap screws and nuts are removed, lift the cap straight up. After you remove the cap, take off the disc guide, disc, index pin, and plate. After the seats are removed, use a half inch wrench and a 7 16 inch wrench to loosen up the jam nut. To remove the disc pin, unscrew it from the stem. Now remove the jam nut. Pull out the stem and disc pin. Remove the spring nuts. Now remove the packing flange and follower. Remove the packing packing washer and the spring. Now you are ready to rebuild your valve. Insert the disc pin into the body. Now insert the stem with the jam nut. Thread all the way until it doesn't go any further. Next, tighten the jam nut using your two wrenches. The bottom piece of your packing will be flat on one side and rounded on the top. Stack your packing so that each one will sit into the cuffed part of the previous packing piece. The top packing piece will be flat on top. Make sure they fit as though they are interlocked together. Install the spring, spring washer, packing with number 4 grease, a follower, packing flange,
and flange nuts. Tighten the flange nuts. Make sure the stem is still able to move up and down. To install the plate, apply a little anesthesia around the ceiling area. and insert into the body. Make sure the index pen is facing you. Insert the index pen. Now apply 3-in-1 oil onto the disc. Make sure the arrow is facing towards the index pen on the disc. Next, insert the disc guide. Adjust the disc guide so that it is fully open and you can't see any of the plate. Now apply a little antices on the ceiling area of the disc guide. Install the cap. Thread the nuts onto the studs. and insert the bolts through the cap into the body. Tighten the nuts and bolts to 200 inch pounds. Install the yoke and actuator onto the body. Make sure that the top port of the actuator is on the upstream side. Using a T-handle Allen wrench, tighten the yoke to the body. Make sure the yoke screws are tight. Put the stem connectors back on, making sure the stem connector nut is on the same side as the travel scale hole. Tighten securely. Reinstall the travel scale. Now your valve is ready for service. If you have any questions about this video, please email us or call us at the phone number listed on the screen. Also be sure to visit our website www.jordanvalve.com for more information. Thanks for watching.